Hello. For those who are new here, I'm Box Van D, and I live in my box van full time. So I've been struggling with my bathroom situation. Today, I think it's time to say goodbye to my traditional toilets. The Ogo Nomad composting toilet will definitely revolutionize my bathroom experience. So let me share with you. So in this video, I'm excited to share my review of the new Ogo Nomad composting toilet. I'm not being paid for this review. It's not a sponsored video, but I did want to share with you how this com composting toilet has been a complete game changer in my life. Its efficient design and eco-friendly composting process is really the key. I'll cover all the features and benefits of this innovative toilet. And if you're considering upgrading to a composting toilet, this review is a must watch. So this is the Ogo Nomad composting toilet. It's kind of light gray with a dark gray top. And it comes with its information card tells you what it comes comes with it is a sanitary spray bottle a urine odor trap a urine bottle with cap and two disposable bags also comes with a co coconut core medium which is great for composting it kills all the smells it's very lightweight very sturdy and doesn't have all the fancy bells and whistles like the fancier $800 uh, composting toilets do. It doesn't have a, a spinner or a electric fan to blow out the fumes, airs, smells, whatever. But it's very portable, so you don't have to have it in one spot. You can move it around wherever you want. It's dirty enough to sit on. Use it in, as an extra chair. I think it's pretty cool. So I'll show you all about it. And here we go. It also came with this how to use card. Tells you how to prepare it. And all the different things about it. And it's very informative. So it has a hinged lid. And we take off the whole top. This is what you get. It's a, basically a square uh, bucket, basically. And it holds a one and a half, about one and a half gallon urine bottle. does have a cap. It has a handle. It's very easy to lift for me. Very simple. And it has a place in the back where you can put your bag and it clips under these little clips uh, so that it will hold the back up so when you do something in there number two it'll be fine it'll hold it up and not collapse down on the bottom so all you have to do is put some coconut core um, medium or whatever meeting medium you're using for composting in the bottom of the bag and then layer it as you use it each time you use it so this is what it looks like with the coconut core inside the bag and it's all clipped up on the on the bucket as you can see i used the cocoa core for several years when i had my homemade composting toilet it works great never had a problem you empty it when you start thinking it has enough in there. Probably every two or three days. I could probably go a lot longer, but I don't like to leave it in there that long. So that's the odor vent. Keeping it from odors, odors getting there. As it goes on there. And this 
Here's a black ring here. One hand. Whoops, I'm doing this one handed. Sorry. Okay, so. So this is what it looks like after the top is put on. There's a urine hole with the urine diverter with the coconut core behind it in the bag. You can probably put a small bucket there, but I think it is bigger with the plastic bag. I was surprised how sturdy it is. And it slides right under my bed where I have plenty of room behind it. So what I what do I think about this? Let me tell you. I love it. This is the easiest, simplest system I have had so far. I couldn't lift the cassette uh, tank to empty the urine. The other homemade one, composting, was perfect, except it was very heavy and very bulky. The bucket system, very much odor, because you don't want to mix urine with the number two. So, this is perfect. You can do both. It's plenty big enough for me. The Ogo Nomad is a little bit shorter, about two inches shorter than a standard cassette toilet or the bigger Ogo toilets. So I think it's about 14 inches tall. But I just have to stoop a little bit lower to sit down, which is very simple. It's very sturdy. You can use it as a... It's not ugly at all. So you can put a little cushion on top of it and use it as an extra chair in your rig. It's perfect. It empties easily. What I would change about it, I think it could use some improvements for the price. So it sells from Ogo direct, like for $200 plus shipping, about $30 for shipping. So about $230, which I paid for. I didn't get this sent to me as a uh, review video. I just wanted to do this video because I thought... If it works out, I will share it with you. I've had it for a few weeks, and I'm, I'm loving it, truthfully. What I would change. I would add a, a window where you can see how much, how full the urine tank is. I think that would be awesome. I would add handles on the top so you can lift or move, pull in when you're moving it around. Just handles would be nice, not the that is really necessary is not that heavy so I think that odor trap thing is a pain in the rear because when you put it in if you don't get it in just exactly right it'll get crunched up so very flimsy little rubber urine urine odor trap so I, I don't even bother with that instead I use urine digester in my I pour uh, like a quarter of a cup in a tank of the urine and I use a spray bottle with the diluted solution of urine digester to spray my uh, the urine diverter when I do pee. For the poop, the coconut core covers all the odors. You don't need the spinner t to spin it around. You're com covering it each time you use it. So with new cocoa core. So it covers all the smells, and with coconut core, I never had a smell in my old toilet at all. For I used it for several years, so I think that's perfect. I would put a different, a separate bucket for the plastic bag for the uh, poop in case you would have a leak. Although it's very easy to clean, is a like a bucket in its, in itself. So you lift out the urine bottle. Take a little sprayed vinegar and water or whatever cleaning solution you want to use and wipe it out. So very simple. You can actually turn it upside down if it gets a lot of spills, whatever. But as long as you have the lid on correctly, it will not spill. I have been, like I said, been using it for a few weeks. So I love it. I really do love it. I can't think of anything else that I would change about that. Um... Maybe a little taller, maybe a couple inches taller. 
And so other than that, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please comment in the comment section below. For the regular Nomad or like one of the other fancy composting toys with the spinner and the fans, you can't move it around. You're stuck in one place. So for me as a Nomad in my rig, I can move it in and out, move it around. I don't have to have it stuck in one spot, taking up space. It's under the bed. Very simple. So that's what I have to say about this. I will have the link to the Ogo Nomad site in my description below this video. So just check below it and check out the description for any other information you want about me or my channel. So I hope you like this. It was, I, like I said, with 200 plus shipping. The fancier ones are eight or nine hundred dollars. I, uh, that's not for a nomad. People cannot afford that as a low income, um, disabled person. So this is so perfect, really. I can't say enough about it. I love it. So thank you for watching. So I will be doing very soon. A video about the different kinds of toilets I have tried and I'll show you what I've used in the past and why this is so much better so look forward to that video coming soon